then your light will shine like the sunrise your restoration will quickly arrive your restoration will quickly arrive beloved Isaiah chapter 58 verse 8 has given us a promise of God that we should hold very dearly it says then your light will shine like the sunrise your restoration will quickly arrive first and foremost what we must understand what you must know is that your light will shine like the sun rise you know after the times of darkness after the times where everything has been gloomy after the times when it seems as if there is nothing beautiful then the sunrise shows forth and the word of god says that your light will shine like the sunrise there is always a breaking forth there is always an advent of light that comes from the place of darkness and the word of god is assuring us that when your light comes your restoration will come quickly it did not say your restoration will take some process to come it says it will quickly arrive have you been waiting on God on a matter? Have you prayed and it seems as if nothing has changed? You were waiting and you have waited and it seems as if you are tired of waiting on God. The word of God says your restoration will quickly arrive. That means your turn around. That means your change. That means your beautiful life that you have been praying to receive will quickly arrive you may have delayed for one year you may have waited for 10 years you may have been on a matter for 30 years i want you to know that every time god arrives is always on time he is never late we may not understand his plans we may not understand how things are we may not understand the processes of things, but I want to assure you today that your restoration will quickly arrive. In Isaiah 57 verse 18, the word of God says, I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comfort unto him and to his mothers. The Lord will restore comfort to you. It will bring you that thing that will give you solace. I mean, you have lost hope in life. You have thought nothing great will ever happen again to you. He says it will bring and restore comfort to you. But the process at which this comes to play is very important that we should pay attention to. With God, there is a timing, and it is called the time of favor. It is called the day appointed. It is called the day of your breakthrough. It is called the days of your deliverance. It is called the day of your remembrance. And so Isaiah 48 verse 8 puts it this way. This is what the Lord says. I will answer you in a time favor in a time of favor you see when your restoration arrives quickly is your time of favor and your time of favor has come it came for Sarah she had waited and she felt everything around her life had locked up she felt nothing was going to happen again but a time of favor came and when it came, she rejoiced. You will rejoice gladly. You will rejoice exceedingly because your time of favor will come. 
the time of favor when your restoration when everything you have lost is returned back to you it is that time we can say the lord has helped you it is that time we can say the lord have shown you mercy it is that time you can say the lord have brought his comfort your way take note of those words he says he will restore comfort unto him the lord will restore comfort to you so everything around your life may have been locked down but god is restoring that which will be of great joy to you this is what the lord says i will answer you in a time of favor and on a day of salvation i will help you i have watched over you and given you as a covenant for the people to restore the land to reassign my god the inheritances that have been devastated take note of these words this is what the lord says i will answer you in a time of favor and on a day of salvation i will help you and you have come to your day of salvation where you will see the miraculous hand of god helping you and when he has helped you you will know that he is watching over you you will know that he had preserved you to see that day there are sometimes you have never thought you will see in your life but the lord will preserve you to see it and that is a level of restoration that no man can bring some people because of their health situation they cannot imagine they would not believe that they would see their child bringing forth they have never believed that they would carry their grandchildren but you will carry your grandchildren because the lord had watched over you until that thing that has once been a devastation will be a thing of rejoicing to you he says he has given you a covenant and the lord is making that agreement with you today to restore to you all that is yours and then reassign your inheritances he is going to reassign everything that is yours that have been stolen so whatever has been taken away from you that was rightfully yours the lord is reassigning it to you it may be your house your house may have been taken away from you the lord is reassigning those house to you that is in bringing you to a time of your favor you know the law was right to have taken your house but favor spoke for you and now there is a reassignment there is a reassigning of your inheritances of your labors of what you have worked for i mean your children may have been taken from your social security may have taken i mean the agencies may have taken your words away from you may have taken those things that are rightfully yours but for some reasons they were no longer yours the word of god says it will restore it will reassign your inheritances those things that have caused you to be devastated at a point expect the lord to bring them to you so you may have been waiting for a long time your time of favor has come and the lord has watched over you he has preserved you to be able to partake in this blessing to be able to receive his graciousness and his blessings it is his mercy and his grace that has kept you to receiving all that was stolen away from you you may have lost a lot of time in the jail you may have lost a lot of time seven time in jail but the lord is restoring you and every time you have lost it will come back to you in ways and manner that you cannot imagine that everything you are supposed to enjoy everything you were to have enjoyed you will enjoy them now in multiple forms Nevertheless, the word of God says in Isaiah 30 verse 18, The Lord will wait 
so he can be gracious to you. And I want you to know the Lord has been waiting to be gracious to you. He had been patient to be gracious to you. That lady could have left, but the Lord nevertheless waited because of you and kept her waiting for you because he wanted to be gracious to you. That thing that you never thought you would receive in your life, that promotion you never thought you would receive, the Lord has been gracious to you. I mean, hell situation made you and deprived you from having those promotional examinations. But the Lord was gracious to you and caused there to be a supernatural waiting that the systems were held so that He can be gracious to you. That is your time of favor coming to you. That is your time of favor being yours again. That is your time of favor coming into your hands. Because those things that you never thought you can ever receive again in your life now are in your possession because the time of favor smiled on you. Nevertheless, the Lord will wait so he can be gracious to you and thus he will rise up to show you mercy. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are those. How blessed are all those. How blessed are everyone who can wait upon him. Who wait upon him. Beloved, your time of favor is here. And there will be a massive restoration. This is what the Lord says in Jeremiah 30 verse 18. I'm going to restore the fortunes of the tent of Jacob and have compassion on his dwellings. God is having compassion on you. That is why you are receiving that thing that is never and was never going to be yours. The Lord is having compassion on you. That is why that contract you thought you had lost still came to you. The Lord is having compassion on you. That is why that interview that you did not perform so well, He made sure you got that job because of His compassion, because His time of favor, because His quick restoration, because His blessings arrive to you again and your city will be rebuilt on the ruins on the ruins of before, on the ruins of yesteryears, you will build again a place that will seat your blessings. Your bands that has fallen will rise up again. A city will be rebuilt on its ruins and a place will sit on its rightful place. All those things that are yours, those things that have crumbled, you will rebuild them because the Lord's compassion smiled on you because the Lord compassion visited your dwelling and when the time comes for rebuilding your walls that time will surely be extended praise the Lord Micah chapter 7 verse 11 when the time comes for rebuilding your walls that time will surely be extended the extensions that will come your way is that Favor is that time of favor of the Lord that was supposed to be yours, beloved. He made sure he prolonged the process just because of you. The things that usually would have ended within a month, the Lord, because of you, kept it going for six months so that you can prepare, so that you would have equipped yourself to be a partaker, the time of your favor, the time of your favor, the time of your favor is coming. And when that time comes, they'll be rebuilding. Things that have crumbled will rise again. That time is the time you will see extension, supernatural extension. You would have grace that you couldn't have imagined. I mean, at that time, you were supposed to have paid up your debt at long past 
But somehow that extension came. You knew that everything could have been reclaimed. Your properties could have been reclaimed. But God made sure there was an extension so that you'll be able to fit in properly and meet up with the demands and the expectations of the covenant, of the agreement you have made. I want to assure you today that your time of favor is that time of extension. It's that time that God has extended His blessings to you. And understanding the time of favor will make you know today that God is ever with you to give you all that your heart will always be glad in. To give you all that your heart will always rejoice in. To give you all that your heart will give in praise to us. And on the final note in Jeremiah 33 verse 6, it says, Look, I will bring restoration and healing. It says, I will reveal to them an abundance of peace and faithfulness. It says it will heal you. But take note of those words. I will reveal to them an abundance of peace and of faithfulness. That time of your favor is that time that God will show you the things that have been hidden from you. It is the time He will show you where your abundance is. And you will walk into it with ease and have peace of mind. And then you will know that the faithfulness of the Lord, the one who called you, that is faithful, has been with you all the way. There will be a quick restoration to you. Quick restoration to you. And you will see God bringing the light into your life. You will see God having you rise out of obscurity. Then your light will shine like the sunrise because he has answered you in a time of favor and on a day of salvation he said i will help you please i have watched over you and i've given you as a covenant for the people to restore the land to reassign the inheritance that have been devastated Beloved, your time of favor has come. Your time of favor is here. Your time of quick restoration is here. Your time that your restoration will arrive quickly is here. And you will enjoy it. You will enjoy your time of favor. You will enjoy your time of bliss. In Jesus' mighty name. Your time of favor has come. It is well with you. God bless you. And shalom.